is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Year, SportBikeTrackYear.com. Today we're going to do a video review. We're actually going to redo a video review on one of the first jackets we ever covered. It's the Scorpion Stinger leather jacket. Okay, this is one of the first videos we did a couple of years ago, and since then we've learned a lot about a lot of different things, and we've also had a lot of customers who've bought this jacket, done quite a bit of riding in it. We've gotten a great amount of product feedback. Okay, they were new when this was first done a few years ago and now you know the Scorpion XO wear has been around for a few seasons. The feedback has been great, the jackets have, have stood the test of time, you know they've held up well in crashes and overall they've held up well. Okay, Let's talk about sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, I'm 200 pounds with a mildly athletic build. I am wearing right now a size large in the Stinger jacket. Let's give you a side view. You can see that the Sleeve length is good, right to the end of my wrist. Back view, this jacket incorporates a lot of accordion motion panels sewn into the leather. I'd like to kind of give you an idea of how those work. You kind of see as I'm moving my arms forward, like reaching way out for the bars. Brian, can you see those stretching? Mm -hmm. And it really adds to the comfort of this jacket. This jacket has quite a few of those panels built in. Feels fantastic. In my mind, this is one of the best all perforated leather jackets out there, okay? And I'm going to detail for you why. But one of the things we've learned over the course of the last couple of years is when you're sizing a jacket, you need to think about how are you going to ride in it. The reason I say that is, for example, this coat, the Stinger all perf leather jacket. What kind of riding am I going to do in this? Am I going to be using the liner? Because it comes with a full sleeve and vest quilted liner. Am I going to use the liner a lot or am I going to ride in this most often with that liner removed? For myself, I would use this in warm weather, fair weather riding, okay? So I want the liner out and I want it to fit the best when the liner's out because that's going to be 90% of my use, okay? A liner takes up a fair amount of room inside of a jacket. With this particular coat, if I were going to do all of the riding or the majority of the riding with the liner in, I'd probably go up one size to an extra large. It wouldn't be as tight. I'd have a little more operating room and comfort. Considering the fact that for me, I would pull the liner out of this and probably never put it back in because I only like to ride when it's warm out, I need this jacket to fit its best when the liner's removed. Right now it's in. You can see how it fits me. After we talk about the features, benefits, I'm going to take the coat off, pull the liner off, slide it back on so you can see the difference. And it's, it's actually fairly considerable. First off, Ryan, details, baby. Zoom in here for the embroidery. The Scorpion EXO embroidery on the front. Tons of perf down the front of this jacket. Tons of airflow, okay? Stretch panels here. In the arms, underarms. More embroidery here. Perforation here in the forearm. Upper arm. I'd like to note the Raglan shoulder. It's just a, a different way to do a shoulder sheen. It can be a little bit more durable in the event of a fall. Okay? Zippered storage. Both sides of the jacket, right and left. Motion panel here, a stretch panel in the side of the jacket sewn into the leather. We also have a snap waist adjuster in the back. I did not need to utilize that. The thing fits me just right and I've kind of got it in its stock position. And remember, if you've got a little more around the middle, that can just stretch right out and accommodate that. Base of the jacket here to protect your tank from the zipper. You've got a leather panel that Velcros over. All right. One of the things I'd like to show you too is the zipper pull. If you can grab that, Ryan. Just kind of zoom in there a little bit. It's got a nice ergonomic Scorpion EXO zipper pull. Just a cool touch. Feels nice. On the inner panel of the jacket here, some cool get stung embroidery done there. Nice touch, nice detail. The termination of the sleeve here at the cuff, we have a little leather panel that comes over and snaps. Some detail here on the end of the button, outside of the button, Scorpion EXO. They used YKK locking zippers here on the sleeves. It's nice because they're spring loaded and it holds the zipper pull out of the way. Undo that. Let's go ahead and get this coat off and give you a look at the back side. 
We'll pull the liner out and then I'll throw it back on so you can see how differently the jacket sizes with the liner removed. Now let's go to the back and seriously you got to get way tight on this. That detail is absolutely incredible. The embroidery, the screen printing. I really love this jacket. Here at the tail of the jacket they've got some reflective material here. You can see the stretch panel here in the back of the shoulder perforated accordion panel. Here is the stretch panel here on the side of the jacket, the expansion panel. The forearms, okay, uh, on the, the elbow area, we have another expansion panel here and it quite frankly just makes it easier to bend your arm. Also perforated. This is a piece of their night viz reflective material as well. It's nice if you're riding outside and it's dark, lights hit it, it pops, makes you more visible. To remove the liner from this jacket, simply grab the zipper pull here at the base of the jacket on the left side, pull it up the side of the coat over the back of the shoulders, down the other side. You will find two more attachments here at the base, undo the snaps, pull the loops through. To get the sleeve out, grab a hold of the sleeve of the liner, pull it through. We have two attachment points here. They are color-coded black and yellow. Helps you line them up properly the first time. Let's go ahead and repeat that on the other sleeve. Pull it through. Let's go ahead and remove the liner. I would like to note that the back in the center of this liner, they use their quick wick moisture wicking material. Same thing they have in the helmets. What that does, it removes the, perforate, uh, the perspiration from between your body and the liner. Just works to keep you comfortable and cool. Nice touch. Let's get the jacket back on so you can see what it looks like when I have the liner removed. And it, it makes, in my mind, quite a difference. And this is a very important point to consider. Even though this jacket sells for an affordable price, I think this jacket offers a tremendous value. Still a lot of money. You know, and you want to make sure you're getting the, the one that's right for you. There's the difference, and I mean this thing literally now, for me, is perfect with that liner out. Fits like a glove. Let's go ahead and show you the armor and some of the details from the inside, and we'll wrap this up. Like I said, really impressed by this jacket. If I were Scorpion, I would keep this in the catalog for about the next five years. Left breast, zippered storage. Right side of the jacket, inside the liner, zippered storage. Left side of the jacket, inside the liner, another zippered storage compartment. Here at the base of the coat, we have a loop that can attach the belt loop on your pants. What that does, it keeps the jacket and the pants overlapping so you don't have a void there exposing bare skin. Undo the zipper here at the back of the jacket. It'll expose our back pad. Medium density perforated foam. Not bad, nice coverage area that is not CE certified but it does offer a good solid measure of protection. We have CE certified Sostec armor in the elbows, forearms, and shoulders. I'm going to go ahead and pull some out and give you a look at it because this is some really nice stuff. Very impressive. It is perforated. That allows the heat energy to escape from between your body and the protector. Very flexible CE certified. Great stuff from Sostec. We actually chose to put that in our house suit, which was the Celtic racing suit. And that suit did a great for us, very protective, lots of crash feedback, and we loved seeing that armor in these jackets. Let's have a look at the stuff inside the elbow and the forearm. More of the same, just a bigger piece. And there you have it. At the end of the day, would I reach in my pocket and pull out the money for this Scorpion Stinger jacket? The answer to that is yes, I think this jacket's a total home run. I love the way it looks. I love the way it's put together. This is the Scorpion Stinger jacket from Sport Bike Track here.